Good afternoon, everyone. It's uh, Bob Pugh from Lapbook, and I've got uh, John Harding with me. Say hello, John. Hello, um, hello everyone. <laughs> okay, I'm just adjusting my screen a second so I can see the uh, Facebook page. That way I can uh, monitor if anybody wants to chat or not to us. If you do want to chat, just type in the comments and we'll answer you. But me, John, do you want to tell us a little bit about yourself? Yeah, um, well, my name's John Harding. I've been LARPing now since uh, just over uh, since I was 16. Yeah. Um, a friend of mine at me knew I was a D and D player and said he wanted to do, do this in a live action format. And of course, curiosity got the better of me, and I've uh, been LARPing ever since. I'm now uh, I've just turned 34, so yeah, been LARPing a very long time. <laughs> it does kind of grab you and keep you on, keep you going for ages, isn't it? Well, it's just, I don't know it's, it's it's almost an addiction. It's it's scary how much uh, how much you spend on LARPing. Oh yeah, I, I agree with that. The, the amount of time, money, everything just just yeah. it, it can swallow anything. Oh yeah, no, the, the I think the, what attracts me the most is the escapism. Uh, just a mm. step out of reality for a weekend or for a day, depending on what you're doing, and just oh, I know just enjoy yourself. And, I'm being with like-minded people, so yeah. um, I think that's what works the most. I've met so many great people doing that, so. Uh, I've got to agree very... with that. Yeah, I have to agree with that. It's like, the number of great people I've met is just phenomenal. I don't think I would have met any chance of meeting them any other way. Yeah. So, do you want to tell us a little bit about your, about, about what yourself, what you do, and then we'll get onto your video channel? Well, most of the... Uh... Most of my, LARP, my my social art community know me uh, as a professional wrestler mm -hmm. uh, from Europe, and uh, and I've just started off a job at New Over Media, yep. which will allow me access to a lot more editing software, uh, streaming services, voiceovers, podcasts, YouTube, the works. We are a complete media studio where we bring sound, video, anything yeah. regarding media itself, like even from social to DVDs and stuff like that. The company I work for have given me access to everything um, so I can expand okay, myself as life. a brand as um, well as helping those good who like yourself as well. But sponsor me to sound, be able to anything yeah, uh, for us to grow media media itself, like even from social to DVDs and stuff like that. The company I work for have that given me uh, Robin access to every coin so I can be expand able to, to be able to myself as a brand as well as helping uh, those who like yourselves like but spontaneously yeah, yeah, be able to yeah, anything yeah, for us to grow media so even to help my mates that we're in the office the company I work for we're just we're in a temporary office from every coin so I can be able to 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 be Looking forward, to, looking forward to seeing all the changes as they uh, come through there. Definitely. Um, I'll just say my YouTube channel, uh, again, thank you guys for sponsoring, uh, is going to go through a lot of changes. I've got a YouTube certified uh, employee coming down uh, to the office and changing my channels to their benefit the LARP demographic for those who from... Mm -hmm. All across the UK, where you're doing Green Cloaks, Fools and Heroes, Lloyd's Trust, yeah. uh, Curious Pound Farms, um, Mind's Eye, whatever you guys do, be able to hit those demographics, um, as well as hopefully, touch words, be able to That's help cool. blockers across the world. Ah. Um, yeah, so, um, so not only the old trend, it's trying to grow as a massive community because we all do LARP for the same reason. That we yeah have our fun and games and whatnot and it'd be nice just to, to be able to broadcast what we do here in the UK to for what the world can see, rest of the world can see oh yeah that this is good that's absolutely linked entirely with what we want to do with what we're doing and what we want what we want to do more of so fantastic that's good you, I've got to ask you you, you mentioned the, the wrestling um yeah go on tell us a bit more <laughs> uh, what, 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 they, what name do you wrestle under starters uh, uh, I, use, I use my real name, John Harding. I've been called such things like Ivor Biggin, um, the Red Devil, the Meat yeah. Machine, kind of all the gimmicky names that some promoters give me. I use my real name now, yeah. which is John Harding. I've, I'm on a support group in pro wrestling at the minute because I've been recently diagnosed with post-concussion syndrome, which means I've taken too many head hits and not let the concussions heal. Yeah. So I'm on a sabbatical, taking a break, which is perfect timing for uh, literally for when you guys – uh, where well, I got to touch you guys and how I can focus on this for a few months um, before I go back into the ring. So, 
Um, um, uh, so I've been wrestling since I was 15. Mm, um, so a, a little bit longer than life. Um, and like I said, I've been all over Europe wrestling. So I do get, I do get about it. It sounds like it. It sounds like it's a wise move taking a little bit of time out whilst you're all sorting yourself out. Yeah, that's good. And does, does that wrestling play at all into laughing in some of the things you do? Well, I do, as well as wrestling, I do a lot of background acting and um, it helps. Like with, with LARP itself, it's a good way to um, uh, improve the charisma, the confidence, as well as the improvisation. Yeah. Uh, because what well, looks like is amateur dramatics in a way. Mm. And to be able to pull a character, given a scenario, and you have to think very yeah. fast on what your character would do in that situation. It's, it's perfect improv. Yeah. So uh, um, it is LARPing and wrestling uh, and acting as, as such. It really ties in perfectly together. I've done a lot of medieval roles mm-hmm. due to me LARPing. They've seen the pictures of me LARPing and go, we like that look. We want you in, a, in uh, doing this short film for us. Yeah. So it's really LARPing in, in, medieval role, in a medieval role has got me a lot of jobs in the acting industry. No, it sounds like it's really open to doors for you. But in fact, tell me we should talk about again. Oh, definitely. If film needs doing LARPing, because you're not the only person I know in LARPing who does a bit of work there, so it'd be good to sort of get a few together and have a good chat about that and how it all intersects and how people get started if they're interested. That's what, yeah, whatever you guys want to do, I'll be more than happy to help you guys out. Awesome. That sounds great. Yeah. Right. Let's have a go to our YouTube channel, because you sent it to us. I had a look and liked it. So do, you've got a few videos there now, so we've got, and I know you've got some plans coming up this, this season. Yep. So, do you want to talk, yep. talk about uh, what you're doing, what you want to do? My like videos um, coming up. I've got a couple of review videos coming up for you guys. I bought a couple of dark elf masks from uh, Morbid Masks, uh, based here in the UK. Yeah. I've got um, a lovely Excalibur type sword and a shield coming from AJ Pierce. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I'll be reviewing on those. I will be attending Falls and Heroes Spring Fest, which is next week in Germany. Looking forward to. Uh, Chaos Gate in Cornwall uh, yep. the month after. Then I'll be in Cruise Pastimes for July and then hitting Falls and Heroes Summerfest. Um, if I can squeeze any more weekends in uh, around my la- uh, other bits and pieces, then I will try to get to Green Cloaks. There's another one I want to get to. Um, I'm not sure if they've got one after August, so that's, I, I have to check the site for that. But, yeah. um, but uh, obviously, Falls and Heroes is as well as the best system. And then there's a linear system as well, so you can like every weekend. So I will probably be hit a few um, Force and Heroes events as well. Fantastic. Uh, but they all be um, with permission from other LARPers, because um, that's uh, quite a few people concerned when it comes to uh, videography as mm. well. Um, and for, again, uh, that's probably another discussion for later. But uh, to be able to have access to a video camera and be able to put yourself in the medieval setting, it kind of throws people off and a lot of people don't like it. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's very hard to get a highlight reel together to be able to show um, or advertise um, a medieval product because they just don't like being on camera. Yeah. Um, but this, and I appreciate that, I respect those, those who do not wish to be on video. They have high profile jobs, they just don't like being seen laughing. So yeah. um, again, with due respect, um, uh, I will do my best. If, if they were caught on camera, I'll do my best either to edit it to the point they're not seen or blur the faces. Um, we have the facilities here at New Orleans Media to uh, do that. Yeah. And I think that's part of the key is to make sure that, I think I said that, make sure you respect everyone and you talk to everyone. I mean, a good example is in a week's time, I'm off to Curious Pastimes Event 1. Now, in Curious Pastimes, yeah. uh, event team have already put out notifications to everyone saying, these are the people we've authorized with cameras on site. If you don't want to, you to please, uh, please tell us and we'll make sure you don't show up anywhere. And I, I love that approach. I did see that new black book was one of the video of Curious Pastimes, which I was yeah. very happy with. So, yeah. uh, to, uh, do you guys go into the July one? Uh, we couldn't last year. It actually crashed with um, a wedding we had to go to. But um, oh. we, um, we've got a couple of planning in July, but we haven't finished our schedule. So we hope we may get to the July one this year. 
Uh, so well, we always go. To, we always try to get the first one. We always try to get to renewal, and then one in between a kind of juggling around with jostling with everything else a little bit. But help, fingers crossed that'll be yeah, good. We'll touch word. Uh, yeah, touch word. I'll meet up with you guys. Yeah, but if you can go up there, that get that one, and we can try to meet up there. That'll be really good. What clan are you guys in? Um, um, traditionally, we've always played in wolves, so uh, that's probably where you'll find us. Yeah. I've got a few friends in, who are in Wolves, but I've uh, I've got friends down in Cornwall who are part of the Step Alliance. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, Alliance with Step Alliance, so I'll be joining in with them. Um, only because only because I've got friends. They're the ones who introduced me to the system, and they've already got froth and um, uh, and uh, a potential role playing encounters for me to do already the minute oh. I get there. So oh, yeah, they've probably got tons of plots. <laughs> Yeah, they literally um, a friend of mine, Calf, who's uh, gonna mentor me. I'm gonna pay a, a healer, yep. and she's a she's a very good surgeon, and she's literally gonna go. I've got tons of room plenty for you. The first ten minutes, you'll be telling me to stop. I'll be like, no, you just bring it up. <laughs> I will absolutely. <laughs> no, no, that's the best way. Just pile in the role play. That's that's that's, that's the best way yeah. to do it. I always find jumping in the deep end's best. Yeah. No, because and because again, Larpus is so nice and so kind. Uh, if you're confused, you need to turn to the person next to you and he goes, oh, "What's this?" And they'll be like, "Oh, you do this," and they'll be like, "Great, okay, great, ah, oh, there." Yeah. Kind of thing. So that, that's something we kept coming back to: is just how good are the Larpers are to to each other. It's just you get you get not sure, you get confused. Somebody will sort you out kindly, very fast, and um, that's brilliant. Yeah, great part of the hobby. And uh, a lot of. Um, uh, like I said, a lot of people do other systems, and uh, I've got a lot of people saying how how they love Empire, but I've read up on the rules and stuff, and it's just like the type of role playing it's established, I can't quite can't um, get ahead. But yeah, I mean, I can't, oh, quite, I can't see myself in that environment. So yeah, um, maybe, maybe it's something for me to try out next year. I don't know. We shall see. Yeah. Again, check out the local channel, and uh, we'll see how we go. Just keep looking at the, the at the sort of Facebook pages and the YouTube channels and see what comes out. Yeah, because there will be. I'm sure there's going to be lots coming through. Oh yeah, I'm looking forward to. I think one thing I'm looking forward to is green clothes because I can yeah. be able to use. Um, I want to try. I want to get play another healer for green clothes and do it like a, kind of almost Star Trek esque. Mm. Oh, that'd be fun. Uh, that would... Oh, oh that'd, that'd be fun. The camera in the corner of my. Yeah, and having that kind of log kind of thing, and then doing that in character as well, um, to showing what my character does within that environment. Because again, it's the type of setting that would allow it. Not sure how the Nerf guns play into it. I have seen the trailer for the uh, advertising video. Yeah, for it, I absolutely. I've Nerf guns. My son is actually crazy for Nerf guns. And I'm literally thinking, going, hmm, I'm play healer, but at the same time, I want to really pick up that Nerf machine gun and just have my way. Yeah. Just pick that one up. Kind of, pick yeah. that one up, you said. Oh, <laughs> excuse me a second, your video just popped a little bit. I'm just going to readjust you. Something dropped in the lock there. I think we probably had a signal bounce. There we go, that's better. Ah, cow, oh, come on. Technical stuff, stop playing me up today. <laughs> right, yeah. There we go. That's better, right. That's okay. I, as usual, wrestling with the streaming environment, so. Uh, so apologies for Actually, you probably like if you like Nerf guns and you want to get that Nerf machine gun. I did Green Cooks last year. I really, hope, I really want to get back there sometime too because it, it's tremendous fun and the Nerf battles are just they just so they just so mad and exciting. Yeah, I, I like I said, I saw the uh, I saw the advertising trailer and I just like yeah. fell in love. With it. Um, yeah. So hopefully, like I say, if not this year, I'll definitely it'll be on the one for to do for next year. Yeah, they are they are superb. That's good. So uh, yeah, so we'll probably keep it to your to your YouTube channel. So what I'll do is when this goes out, I've got your URL on the bottom, but I'll actually put a link directly to it in in Facebook, YouTube, and on the website. So if anyone wants to know where John's channel is and how to see his videos, that will all be there for you. That's a, so that's what hopefully get a few more people there. Um, okay. Yeah, that'd be that's been a, I think that's been a really good start. Actually, it's given us a nice little chat. Um, no worries. I think I, uh, I over think my I... YouTube channel, we'll be over four weeks. So bear with me with the lot of videos and stuff, but there will be yeah. stuff going up. Uh, there will be a lot of changes, and of course, my second channel, which focuses more on the wrestling side of stuff, will be up for those who don't like the lot side of me. But like I said, uh, lot of vlogging will yeah. be on one channel. My wrestling and other bits and pieces. Yeah. So hopefully, um, you guys good. will enjoy the channel. 
That's fair. The way you do those kind of things, we'll just we'll just roll over those through because that's I just want to keep people in touch and know. That's great. Okay. okay, so that's been a really good little chat. Is there any, anything you want to add on to people before we sort of start wrapping things up? Um, no, I'm just going to say a little shout out to all my friends at Falls and Heroes. Yeah. Uh, and King's very high, and I'll see you all next week at Springfest. Yeah, okay. So, uh, John, see you all at Springfest. I should see you all at Curious Pastimes. Uh, there's probably going to be some more videos from YouTube between there, now and then. But for now, thank you all very much, and see you all soon. Bye. Thank you guys. Bye.